All right, I'm going to uh, be updating my vermaponics system throughout the year. That's what I'm going to call it. You may not agree with it, but anyway. Um, this part of it was supposed to be ebb and flow. I mean, that's what you buy, but it just stays flooded. I have a little um, thing down in here that there's a certain level it can get to. I don't know if you can see that in there or not. But, uh, water stays the same level. But... Uh, some of the stuff I was growing here, I would uh, not recommend growing stir-fry bro broccoli. The picture looks pretty good, but, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> not much to eat on that stuff. <laughs> I got to grow some regular broccoli. This right here is one of the plants I pulled out of my system over, over there. I was just showing the roots of it. I'm fixing to harvest this and... Uh, Put in a little small uh, romaine lettuce in this one. I've got some other ones out. And uh, what I do is I grow them in these like pots, and you can just grow them as well and dig them out. Once they get you know roots like that, you can just put it in there with a the hydrogen, and they, it works good. That's what I've been doing. And uh, <laughs> you can get a lot of romaine out of a few seeds. I'm not kidding you. But uh, and. Uh, this right here is my bell peppers. They're still doing okay. This one over here is getting a little bit taller than these other two. Whether they're gonna get any bell peppers, I don't know. But they're doing okay. And uh, this part right here that I started not long ago, I put some worms in this whole system here. I don't know how many's in here, but I've been putting more in here. And uh, what I got down in here, I keep adding every now and then, is this uh, comfrey leaves. And uh, hopefully that's going to work pretty good. Who knows? I'll keep updating it. But uh, this system here, and by the way, when I uh, transplanted this today, it's hot outside. It'll still get stunned a little bit, but once it cools off and it's nighttime, you'll come back tomorrow and this thing will be good as new. It's just taking a little fart kicks in the system. but. A lot of my lettuce is starting to get pretty big, but like I say, you got to keep rotating. Uh, Bolton's not been a problem so far. I'm happy with that. Um, strawberries, what I'm doing up here is I uh, took all this side to halfway where that middle pole is, and this side here i only allowing two strawberries to grow on it starting the day. And I'm going to see how well this grows because there was getting so many strawberries. I don't know if that's part of my problem or not, but the plants aren't growing as fast as I would like. And then on this side down here, I cut. And these are some runners, by the way. So I will have backup strawberries. I got more in the front yard. But my strawberries on this side, I cut everything off. There's no runners. There's no strawberries. I'm going to keep them like that. And I'm going to see if these do better than those over there. Now, a lot of these are smaller plants, but this is a fairly nice example. But then if you look at the one side, it, this one's a little rough. But we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to show you what I was doing down in my little tank over here. Sorry about the walking around with a camera, but that's all I got. So <clears throat> when the water returns in here, what I did is I put different supplements in there. I mean, I put fish emulsions and seaweed ex extract, that kind of stuff, but I want to put a a, a a paint strainer in here with some vermicompost in it. And I'm gonna change that every now and you can even let it uh, sit in there and you can dunk it up and down. You can see the stuff coming out of it still. And a lot of that's gonna be microbes. And it seems to have been uh, beneficial to my plant so far hasn't been there long but I'm gonna keep switching this out and uh, see how that goes right now my water's a little higher than normal that water was pouring in the bag but we had some rain so I'm not really worried about it it's good good fr fresh rain water in there but uh, we're gonna see how that goes too but anyway uh, I think I covered it good enough for today and I'll keep updating on this stuff and that's it for now.